Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about else if statement, right? And in this session we are going to see about switch case example, okay? Last session itself we have seen the introduction about switch case statement and we have seen about break and default statements also, right? Today now we are going to see about the switch statements. Hope you are clear with if statement, if else statement and else if statement, right? And you know what is switch case statement. Switch case statement means first switch will be there and with along with the switch will have an expression and then a bracket will be opened and inside that case label 1. And then statement will be there, break, case, label 2, statement will be there, break, case, label 3, like this. You can give a number of case and statements for that corresponding a case and then you have to mention break in each line and at last you have to give the default statement. In the case line you have to give colon. In statement line you have to give semicolon and in break line also you have to give semicolon, right? Let's see the example for this switch statement now, okay? We all know that any HTML coding will start with which tag? HTML tag, right? First they have opened the HTML tag and inside that head tag they have opened and then title tag. Inside title tag they have given the title program to test which command in javascript they have given which command in your book just to change it it is switch command okay to test switch command in javascript and then they have closed the title tag how do you close the title tag slash title is the closing tag for title right and then head tag also is closed how do you close the head tag slash head and then they have opened the body tag. Inside body tag, first line is to include JavaScript inside this HTML coding. For that, you have to use script tag, right? Inside script tag, we have two parts. First part is script language and next part is type, right? Script language. What language we are inserting here? JavaScript, right? So, script language is equal to inside the double quotes, you have to mention JavaScript type type is text right so type is equal to inside double quotes text slash javascript right and then variable grade is equal to zero semicolon right variable marks is equal to first they have mentioned that grade the value of grade is zero and uh, then variable marks marks is equal to prompt of please enter your marks for 100 like that one line is there whatever you are giving inside this double quotes will be displayed as such in the output section right and then here if if marks is greater than 90 then we have given grade is equal to 1 right and else if marks is greater than 70 and marks is Less than or equal to 90 means grade is equal to 2, right? And again, else if marks is greater than 50, that means if the marks is in between 50 and 70, it is grade 3. If the marks is in between 40 and 50, grade 4, right? Else, grade 5, okay? This they have given in if else format, right? Else if, else if, else if, so else if format they have given and then they have given a switch statement now only we are going to see the switch case after grade 5 just look it in your book it is in page number 321 okay switch switch of grade you have to give that expression okay this grade only are going to calculate right so the value of the grade will be the case value okay switch grade case 1 if uh, if we are entering one document dot write is your grade is outstanding if the value of this grade one means here what will be displayed document dot write your grade is outstanding break and they have we have closed that particular case next one is case two that is document dot write your 
grade is excellent we have given inside the bracket inside double quotes and at the end you have to give the semicolon right in the case line you have to give only colon and in the uh, statement line that is in document dot write or break line you have to mention semicolon at the end right and then case 3 document dot write your grade is good break case 4 document dot write your grade is satisfactory break see if we are not entering if this 1 2 3 or 4 any of this is not um, the answer we'll have to give a default one right if the value of grade is not 1 2 3 and 4 whatever may be other than this 1 2 3 4 whatever is the is the value of grade becomes we'll get this output default colon document dot write your grade poor and have to reappear exam like that it will be displayed right in this default section whatever you are giving will be displayed in in the place where other than the value of grade is 1 2 3 and 4 okay and then they have closed the switch how will you close as soon as you have opened the switch case statement you have opened the bracket right here we are closing it and then script tag is also closed slash script and body tag is closed slash body and html tag is also closed right slash html okay so here if you see the output first script prompt right please enter your marks out of 100 here whatever marks you are entering if you are entering 90 more above 90 means grade 1 what is in 1 it is your grade is outstanding that will be displayed if you are entering the marks um, between 70 and 90 means grade 2 so in this case 2 will be displayed if you are entering the marks in between 50 and 70 it is grade 3 what is that the case 3 your grade is good that will be displayed right here they have given 98 so 98 means it will come under the first right grade 1 marks is greater than 90 right so here the output will be your grade is outstanding right so this is the output for the switch case okay if you are entering 23 then the value will be it is below 40 right whatever value uh, below 40 means it won't come under this grade 1 2 3 4 right so you will get that default value what is the default uh, statement you have given here your grade poor and have to reappear exam right so that will be displayed okay so we have seen about the switch case statement today and before that we have seen about else if statement before that we have seen about if statement and if else statement right let's see a recap of that first if statement we have seen right if means if then you have to give the condition if the condition is true the block which is given there will be displayed that is if statement right only if will be there if that condition is true the block which is given inside that bracket below the if statement will be displayed or will be executed right it has only the true block okay that will say it as true block right if else means if you will give a condition if the condition is true first block will be executed that is true block if the condition is false we will be giving else block right if then a condition and then a statement will be there if the condition is true that statement will be executed and the next line will have else and then we will have the false block if the condition is false this will be executed okay else side will have the false block and if side will have the true block right in near if we will have the expression right that is if else okay else if means if one condition will be there and if that condition is true you will have a set of statement to be executed else if again one condition will be there if that condition is true that will be executed if that condition is not true it will move on to the next line next line again else if another condition will be there it will check for the next conditions and if no, if or if any of the condition is true that particular block will be executed right 
if that no of uh, none of the conditions are uh, true it will move to the else part last will have a else part and in this else part will have a separate block if none of the condition is satisfied this else part will be executed whatever statement or whatever uh, things are given inside this else part will be executed or it will be displayed right that is else if statement okay and then we saw about case switch case right that is switch then we'll have an expression that expression that value will be deciding the case right switch expression and inside the bracket you have to give case label 1 and then you have to give the statement if that case 1 is selected that first statement will be executed and to complete that case you have to give break and then case label 2 if that case if the second case is uh, the value of that expression that second statement will be executed case label 2 statement 2 if that is also not there, it will break if, if this uh, case 2 is in the output side or it is the expression, it satisfies the expression means this statement 2 will be executed and the, the thing will be break, right? It will be broken. That means the coding will stop executing in that line, right? If it is not um that particular case it will move on to the next likewise you can give a n number of cases right case one you can uh, you just uh, imagine that you just uh, write a, a program to display the days of the week okay uh, that means i'll just uh, give you an example you have to give uh, a value week uh, day okay day so switch Inside the bracket in that expression place you have to give day and in case 1 means you have to display Monday. Case 2 means you have to display Tuesday. Case 3 means you have to display Wednesday, right? So likewise you just try and write a formula for uh, switch case statement, okay? You have to write the switch case statement HTML code, right? I just try it. I'll just say the example for only for Monday switch of a day and then you have to open the bracket and then case one document dot write monday break case two document dot write inside the bracket inside double quotes tuesday and at last you have to give semicolon break semicolon case three colon in that case line you have to give colon and in the statement line and in the break line you have to give semicolon right after giving all the seven days at last you have to give default and inside the default line what you will give one to seven means you will have the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday right so here in default section uh, no days mentioned like that anything you can give we have only seven days uh, other than this one to seven if they are entering any other number we have to get a response right we have only seven days since you have we have given a, a wrong um, input like that you can give any warning or any alert message to the user right so that one you have to give here in default section okay default colon in that section you have to give uh, input is wrong or something to say that you won't be receiving the output right that is the uh, default section and after completing this default section you can close the bracket and that's it switch case statement uh, you just uh, try it and uh, write it today okay if you want you can send it to me i'll just correct it and i'll just uh, um, say you if you have any doubts okay next one is looping or repetitive statement okay in this looping statement we have uh, for loop while loop and do while loop we'll see this in the next session okay so before seeing this looping statement be thorough with the branching statements what are the branching statements if statement if else statement else if statement and switch case statement okay thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye